what a perfect way to start our time here in Cornwall. We've just picked up an iced latte from this quirky little van called the Cognitive Coffee Company here at Par Beach. And we've walked out onto the beach to sip our iced lattes with a view of the ocean. Cheers. Cheers. To 48 hours in Cornwall. Let's do this. So we have just arrived to the Eden Project. This is somewhere I've wanted to come ever since it opened. And oh my God, the size of those biomes, the camera is never gonna do it justice. They are enormous. And all of this was built in an old clay quarry. There's even like pictures around showing you like the construction and stuff of it. So we are starting our Eden Project adventure in the rainforest biome. And this is what I am most excited for here. This is the world's largest indoor rainforest. And oh my God, this thing is enormous. It looks even bigger inside than it does from the outside. It's mind blowing. It is mind blowing. I actually feel like I'm in the rainforest. I hate to break it, but that's the whole point. It is the whole point, but they've done it well, is what I'm trying to oh, say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, it's not as hot in here as I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to suffer. Oh, look at this guy just till it, chilling in the trees. What is he made out of? It's like all scrap metal and stuff. That is so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's the simple things in life, it really is. Can I have a picture with him? You can have a picture with him, yeah. And not only are the plants in here from all over the world, but I love how they've themed all of the areas to like Africa, Asia, and they've put like little buildings and stuff in, mm -hmm. just rather than just the plants. And we also didn't realize there's animals in here. I know, he was very confident and he was chilling there, little. <laughs> just chilling out. Anyway, we're heading towards this. This is the canopy walkway, um, and there is part of it that is a rope bridge as well so how's your fear of heights doing i'm not sure but as we're getting higher it's getting warmer it is getting warmer also we have seen a platform right at the top of the biome and we've seen people going up there so we're assuming we can get to that as well so if you're all right on the rope bridge i'm doing it regardless and <laughs> it is getting hotter as we go up you big brave soldier <laughs> i'm a big boy now go on then i'm ready you first let me know if it's wobbly <laughs> Doesn't feel too bad. Oh no, this one's quite sturdy. Wait till you get to the middle, it might be a bit worse. Compared to the ones at the Garden of Heligan, whatever it's called, oh my God, oh my God. There was a nice refreshing breeze coming off of that waterfall, but I think we're gonna need it because I can see those steps up to that platform. You still feeling confident? Yep, confident. <laughs> oh my God, here we go. Oh. oh. This thing is swaying. <laughs> if I can do it in Rotterdam, oh. I can do this. Did it say how many steps there was to the top? I'm just gonna focus. Oh. Go. I've only just noticed you can actually see through. I'm not looking. Dear, don't look down. Just don't I'm look down. To... Oh my word. Jesus Christ, why did I look down? Why am I doing this? Oh, you're doing it because you've paid 33 pounds to get in. Yep. And you don't want to be beaten. Yep, oh. I'm swaying. I am sweating and I don't know if that's because I'm getting hotter or it's getting hotter or just... Oh my God, it's really swaying. <laughs> the nearer the top you get, the more it swings. Oh, I like it. My word. How do we get down? <laughs> it's right looking at it, but when you're going up and you can see down. Mm. Yeah, the whole floor is great. So you can see all the way through. The whole thing just swings because it's suspended. I don't know if I'm sweating because it's like 30 Celsius in here. Or... I think it's both. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's it, hold on. <laughs> The good news is on the way down, it starts swinging less <laughs> the more you go. You can see the end going down, so it doesn't feel as bad. Oh yes, we did it. High five. Yes. <laughs> Where's that ice cream? I was literally about to say, <laughs> Let's go that way, cream. that way. <laughs> well, it is lunchtime in the rainforest. <laughs> I'm starving. And we've come into the biome kitchen and we have grabbed ourselves this rather delicious looking deli meat pizza. We've got some basil drizzle and some rocket on there as well to make it a little bit healthier. That's Try what Josh it. said anyway. Try it, do it, do it. <laughs> and then we've also got a mac and cheese with salad. So the idea here is that we're gonna share both of these and have half each. Yeah, also we've got some garlic dip. We did. Pound extra, but it's all fresh Pound. made. It looks delicious. Yeah, they make it like there and then, so. Well, bon appetit. Of course, now we've finished our lunch, we've treated ourselves to that ice cream that we earned walking up that platform thing. I've earned it. I was going to say cheers, but you've already started oh. on yours. Cheers. cheers to us. Also, my legs are shaking. They're like... <laughs> right, now we've recovered. Off to the Mediterranean. Let's do this. Definitely 
a lot smaller than the other one. But still a stunning. It's beautiful. Though. I feel like I've rocked up in the Algarve. <laughs> Look at the size of them. They are grasses. That is unusual. <laughs> there is some funny thing. It looks like it's got scales. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. It's a dinosaur. It looks like a giant snake. Oh, dinosaur. you are a weird plant, but I like you. You're different. Also, there's a much more relaxed vibe in here, but then I guess that kind of fits with the Mediterranean. Oh, 100%. Oh, this is just making me dream of San Diego. This is so cool. It's even got a vineyard in here, and although it's got grapes like any vineyard, it's also got the weirdest sculpture I think I've ever seen. Certainly in a vineyard, certainly in a biome, but maybe ever. I have no idea what's going on there, but I guess that's what happens when you have too much wine. Just one way to scare away the birds. <laughs> Like that's the purpose. <laughs> or people. There's even a tapas restaurant in here. Now, if we didn't already have lunch, I would 100% said, let's go in there. This is a place to come in winter, I tell you. Get out of the winter weather, come in here and pretend you're in the med without even getting on a plane. There's us thinking this was just a sculpture. And then I saw the floor was wet and I was like, oh. So we've just been into the core building, which is an exhibition space, but we were greeted by the sight of Infinity Blue. We have absolutely no idea what it is, but I think we've just fallen in love with that. It was very mesmerizing, just sitting there watching it with the relaxing music. We were like, zen. And it's blowing <laughs> smoke rings out, left, right, and center. Could have sat in there for hours. If there was a coffee shop in there, we'd oh, be in there for the rest of the day. I'd have done that and a, oh, coffee, what? <laughs> Sorry, you just mentioned coffee. <laughs> They have also got a zip wire here that you can go on that flies all the way across the top of the quarry and the biomes. Had enough of heights for one day or do you fancy a go? Maybe next time, but I would love to do it, but I'd probably have to be drunk <laughs> and unconscious. They sell cocktails in the Mediterranean bar. <laughs> So we have made our way through the fog and the at times terrifying Cornish road network to the beautiful seaside town of St Ives and we have just popped in to Sea of Coffee to start the day right with an Americano. Beautiful little place, really quirky, nicely decorated and oh that coffee was the perfect start to our day. But now we're just having a little bit of a wander along the harbour and oh my god the colour of this water and this sand, it's making me feel like I'm in the Caribbean. It is so beautiful. Oh yes, this is the Cornwall that we know and love. This rugged coastline, the golden sandy beaches, the crystal clear blue water. This is what makes us feel like we've been transported somewhere far, far away from the UK. It really does. We could be on the Pacific coast in California right now. Just one thing missing, the sun. Well, yeah, but this is very California typical, isn't it? I know. This is I like know. the May Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, in July. In July. How's your hair holding up? <laughs> Not very good, it's really windy. So we've just seen an island just out to sea a little bit and it reminds me of Alcatraz. <laughs> I think we should go back. In keeping with the California vibe. There's a little tiny lighthouse on it, but even from so far away, we can see the waves crashing up against it. You can, so that just shows how windy that is today. And we're, we're stood in this little bit behind the wall. Right? Little little just hiding shelter. away from the wind, you know. <laughs> nice view though. Oh, the view's beautiful. I was also just saying to Jason, it's a shame we didn't bring our swim shorts because I think we should have just done it and jumped in the sea. Not, it it would have been the fun. Rocks. It would have been fun. On. We could have gone in our boxes, but I don't, I don't know how <laughs> People. Cornwall doesn't need that. The shorts. It's the same thing. They'll go see through. Yeah, okay. We won't do that. Next time. Let's walk up to the chapel instead. That's the song. Let's walk up to the chapel instead. Du, du, du. No, I no? think you mean go into the chapel and we're not gonna get married. No, thank you. <laughs> I see we're keeping in theme with the old Ripari. <laughs> in Paris. In Paris. Not, not really, but <laughs> fine. I mean, you have a lock. You can people, have a lock. People are doing that anywhere now. <laughs> We've never done one. We haven't. Now, apparently, yep. this chapel has been here so long, they can't even remember how long it's been here for. It's been here oh, since wow. time immemorable, according to the sign on the wall. You is old, girl. <laughs> it's probably 1984. <laughs> But just when we thought the beaches couldn't get any better, oh my God, look at this one over there. That is incredible. That golden sand and that color of water is just not something you normally see in the UK. I am mind blown by that. You know what I'm gonna say next though, don't you? Let's go bust the swim shorts and jump in the water. No, that's not what I was gonna say. Oh. I wanna go and walk that path down there by the sea and go and sit on that bench at the end. Of course you do. Yeah. Let's go. She's getting rougher. 
very rough. We also saw a sea lion. Well, a seal. Seal, Wouldn't sorry. It. But he's not come back up again, but there's some people out there in like a dinghy and there's a couple of divers in the water. Yeah, yeah. So we think he just popped his head up to like, see what was going, what's on. going yeah. on. If we see it again, we'll try and catch it on camera, but Josh is happy with my decision to come down to this lower path anyway, because it's sheltered from the wind. Yes. The so difference it the makes. throw <laughs> looks okay now. Oh my word. Oh look, great little Instagram shot down there for you. That is cool. Down you go. Oh, bloody hell. We have just seen the little seal again. We think we have caught it on camera. Nailed it. Not entirely sure because it's very difficult to see because obviously it's camouflaged with the water and the rocks, but think we might have got it. Happy now. Oh, I am delighted. This is my new favorite spot. I'm just gonna stay here, send you off to go and get me an ice drink, watch the waves crash over the rocks, take in the sprays. Oh, yes, I'm in heaven. Oh, wow. I cannot get over the fact that we are still in the UK. This beach is incredible. That sand, the color of the water, there's even surfers walking along the beach. The sun has come out. Pinch me. Pinch you, sorry. I'm just amazed by how clear, Ow, not too hard. How clear that water oh. actually is. It's stunning. It's amazing. The sign has told me to place my smartphone here. Take a photo. I think I did two. See how it turns out, see if it's right. Well, we can't just stand and stare at the incredible beaches all day, so we're heading back into St. Ives Town, and this place is like a maze of little passageways and cute little streets. It's just, we have no idea where we're going, but we kind of figured you can't get lost. No, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's just exploring somewhere new. Oh, I can see the harbour. It's all good. It's all good, we've found our way. So we've just walked up this really cute little street away from the hustle and bustle of the town centre, and it's revealed yet another Stunning gold sandy beach, but I'm getting thirsty. I don't know about you. I'm getting thirsty. I'm getting quite peckish as well. Well, I've just spotted a beach bar over there. Sold. Let's go. Oh yes, this is the life. Oh, cheers to chill vibes. Cheers. Caribbean what? <laughs> think we we're going to come to Cornwall and not have a pasty right? Now we read online that St Ives is a very popular place and that parking is limited so we got here really early about 8 30 and had absolutely no problems at all but the place is absolutely heaving now and that means we're out of here. So we've just made it to Cape Cornwall and oh my god as you drive in this place looks incredible. It's a little bit different to all the hustle and bustle of touristy St Ives isn't it? Really yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this coast oh my god we can even see Land's End off in the distance but hopefully we'll get a better view when we walk up to the top of the hill. Of course there's another hill. There's always a hill. But first we need to stay hydrated we're terrible at this but we're being good. Adulting. This is oh. proof. <laughs> Adulting though you got out of flower but you do have water in your pocket as well. Well, you can go first. Thanks. <laughs> they look a bit precarious. You need to test those steps oh, out. They it's weird because they're like floating. Yeah, that's what I mean. They're floating. They look a bit dodge. Oh, I found Fern Gully. What way do you go? Uh, that way? There's an arrow pointing that way. Should we follow the arrow? Let's follow the arrow. <laughs> This looks a lot worse when you're down there. But as you're up here, it's actually quite flat, the route up. Well, seen it. <laughs> this is windy up here. Very windy. Oh, uh, I, feel like, I feel like if we stand right on the edge, that wind will take you, so I don't feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> Free power oh. sailing, woo! Ooh. So it turns out we took the gentle approach. I've just seen some people taking the steep ascent and I'm they're literally glad. scrambling oh, on their yeah. hands and knees. Gentle approach. <laughs> I'm glad we did that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> also, it's worth mentioning that Cornwall is uh, famous for the old tin mining industry and that's what all these chimneys are. We've literally seen yep. so many ruins of them driving around. Not a lighthouse. I thought it was a lighthouse when I saw the pictures. Well, you know. Well, we couldn't think of a better place to end our visit to Cornwall than Boss Castle. This is possibly one of our favorite places in all of Cornwall. We absolutely love it here. The views are spectacular, perfect place to enjoy your morning coffee. And also, look at this bench that we found, nestled into all the rocks here. Loving life. It really is like a chill vibe and it's a perfect place to do your little Instagram photos. Not going to lie, I did a couple. <laughs> like you do. Well, 
yet again, Cornwall has absolutely blown us away. We love it here, so we will definitely be back. But if you want to see more adventures from the Southwest, the beauty doesn't end in Cornwall. Click this video here and join us on the Jurassic Coast in Dorset for a bit of dirt or door and a bit of fossil hunting. We'll see you over there. See you later. You're right there? Yeah, I nearly fell up the rocks. Better than falling down them.